Hey, good morning, everyone. Happy Thursday morning to you. Hope your week's going great, all right? Appreciate you being with me. My name is Don K. Preston. I am the president of Preterist Research Institute of Ardmore, Oklahoma, and this is what I call my morning musings. We're taking a look at Dr. David Hester's 23 arguments that he gave in our formal public debate, July 14th and 15th, 2016th in Ardmore, Oklahoma. Uh, you know, wh what is particularly disappointing to me, I've noted this in an earlier video, is that in Dr. Hester's arguments, he took note of some of the things that I teach, but then after actually reading, after, listen to me, after actually reading from some of my writings, he then turns around and completely ignores what I had said and then completely misrepresents what I had said. Nothing exemplifies this more than his argument on the new heaven and the new earth. I have to be really, really honest. I had to go back and listen to it a couple of times to catch the full power uh, of, of how he was almost insidiously treating this topic and my writings on it. Now, Dr. David Hester said, the church and the kingdom are the same thing. The church was born on Pentecost. And he said, quoting from me, that I believe the new that the church was born in infancy on the day of Pentecost, and the church is the new creation. Okay, so far so good. Then he turned right around and ignored my emphasis on the fact that the church, i.e. the new creation, was born in infancy on the day of Pentecost, awaiting its full consummation, awaiting its full glory, therefore. And Dr. David Hester then argued that although Preston said the church was born in infancy on the day of Pentecost, the new creation was born in infancy on the day of Pentecost, that this demanded that Peter in 2 Peter chapter 3 was in the new heaven and new earth, but therefore, since Peter was looking for the new heaven and new earth, he must have been looking for a different new heaven and new earth. You know, folks, I've got to tell you, this is really, really unfortunate. Did he not pay even a little bit of attention to my teaching that was in my books? which, by the way, he had ordered some of them. He had ordered some of the books that talks about the new heaven and new earth. He knew because he read my writings in which, to reemphasize here, I said that the new creation was born on the day of Pentecost, awaiting its full bloom, awaiting its maturation. Now, Dr. David Hester believes, catch the power of this, Dr. David himself, David Hester himself also believes the new creation began on Pentecost. Dr. David Hester told me in his written answers to my questions that all of Old Covenant Israel's Old Covenant promises were fulfilled at the cross. Okay, Isaiah 65 and 66 is an Old Covenant promise made to Old Covenant Israel about the new heaven and the new earth. Therefore, David Hester believes the new creation was born on Pentecost. Oh my goodness, this is troublesome for him. So Dr. David Hester believes that the new heaven and new earth came into existence on the day of Pentecost in fulfillment of God's Old Covenant promises made to Old Covenant Israel. So David Hester reasons, therefore, that since Peter in 2 Peter chapter 3 was looking for a new heaven and a new earth, he must have been looking for something different from what was established on Pentecost. Once again, totally false. Why do I know that? Because 2 Peter chapter 3 verse 1 and 2 
Peter said, the second epistle I'm writing unto you, brethren, in both of which to stir up your holy minds by way of remembrance, that you would remember the commandment of, of our Lord Jesus Christ and of his apostles and of the prophets who have spoken before. Okay, so Peter, in 2 Peter chapter 3, is writing about what the prophets had said earlier, the old covenant prophets. By the way, David Hester tried to deny that in written form. Unbelievable manipulation of the text. Unbelievable distortion of the text. But be that as it may, all right? So here is Peter, 2 Peter chapter 3, reminding his audience that his doctrine of the last days, his doctrine of the day of the Lord is from what the Old Testament prophets said. Oh, but that's not all. In 2 Peter chapter 3 and verse 13, he says, according to his promise... We look for a new heaven and a new earth. Well, so here is Peter talking about the new heaven and new earth that was promised by the Old Testament prophets. What Old Testament prophets spoke of the new heaven and new earth? Isaiah 65 and 66 specifically. Oh, but wait a minute. David Hester says all of those Old Testament prophecies were fulfilled at the cross slash Pentecost, Peter was looking for something different. No, Peter said he was still looking for what Isaiah predicted. Peter was not expecting a different new heaven and a new earth from that which was established on Pentecost. He was looking for the full bloom, the full maturation, the full glory of that which was established on Pentecost. You see, Dr. David Hester's dichotomization of the eschatological narrative is just simply unbelievable. And I mean that in the fullest sense. It is unbelievable because it is not biblical. It destroys the undeniable reality that Peter's eschatology of 2 Peter chapter 3 is nothing but his expectation of the fulfillment of God's Old Covenant promises made to Old Covenant Israel. Thus, when Dr. David Hester said all of God's Old Covenant promises made to Old Covenant Israel were fulfilled at the cross and that God was through with Israel at the cross, he is undeniably, unquestionably, and irrefutably wrong. If you want more on the new heaven and new earth, let me urge you to go to my website, eschatology.org org or bibleprophecy.com order my book the element shall melt with fervent heat this is one of the most extensive studies of the new heaven and new earth of second peter chapter 3 that you will find and in that book you will discover how horribly dr david hester misunderstood or distorted what i actually said and not only, so, not only that, you will see without any shadow of a doubt that Peter was, in fact, still looking for the fulfillment of God's Old Covenant promises made to Old Covenant Israel, thus falsifying Dr. David Hester's claims and doctrine about the new heaven and the new earth. Well, thank you so much for joining me for this morning's Morning Musings. Hey, be sure to pe check out PRI videos, PRIvideos.com. You'll love what you find there. Anyway, Lord willing, we'll see you next Monday. You have a fantastic weekend.